I built my entire career on seven dimensions. There's actually eight, and it's called the Dimash. <laughs> I got to make sure the light's bouncing off this beautiful <laughs> skull just right. Hello, Thronely fans. Hello to and you, Johnny Droga channel. We're here. We made it. <laughs> so smooth. Do you know who is smooth? The singer for today. How do we know? Because it's like our fifth or sixth time we've listened to him. It is Sir Dimash. We are back Oh, he's been upgraded to Sir. <laughs> yes, totally upgraded. He was never downgraded, actually. Yes. Um, this song has been mentioned so many times. It is Olympico. And it was written by Igor Krutoy, who I think that's who he wrote with on several of them uh, okay. that we've heard. And we have more songs to go, by the way. I know we appreciate the, the comments telling us what we should listen to next. We haven't caught up yet. We've got Sinful Passion. We've got Ave Maria. We've got like all these others that we, we definitely are going to get to at some point. So we're in, the we're in for the long haul, people. Don't you worry. This song is in Italian. That's what I know in advance, so I pulled up a translation, so I have that in advance as we go. And that He's fluent is in be... Italian, too? What's that? He's fluent in Italian, too? Well, yes. <laughs> if it's a language, then yes. <laughs> Jesus. Can they I'm dissect thinking... his brain for science? Just to... I would love Let's, to... The advancement of neurology could, could really... He's the next step in evolution. He's like he's like three steps ahead in evolution. Pretty much. All right, let's jump in. Before we do, make sure you guys hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. Yes, and don't forget to check out the description below as well where you can click on links to our website to learn more about private singing or songwriting lessons. You can take a free vocal assessment to learn more about your voice. And you can check out our online courses too if it's something you would like to pursue. All right. Sorry, I was very distracted by the rave-tastic things <laughs> this, that were happening. It's a Dimash rave, exactly. Yes. does sounds like a movie soundtrack. Yeah. We're starting out with this operatic tone. Maybe it's a little early to stop, but I do want to address a couple things. Igor's brilliant in what he does, right? I mm. have no idea when and if a modulation is going to take place. We've heard that in other material. Same thing I've heard here. about three or four. <laughs> so yeah, far within it, the verse, yeah. But it's never jarring. It's always a, and, and yes, this is where we go next. And it just feels welcoming as you go there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if some of that is because of the orchestration, like which soundscape is coming in that helps take you there. Or just the, the nature of the chords? Um, I think it, it has to do with the melody. It's like, it's basically where he's landing. I, I'd have to hear it again, but like the last note of the cor of the phrase that he sings. Da, 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 da. You know, if he does that or something, then you can kind of... It kind of, it, it like steps you into a new place. That becomes a new, a new chord tone. Yeah. Okay. And it sounds epic. So here, I'm just going to pull up the lyrics real quick. And I don't know how literal this translation is. Sometimes they mm -hmm. get you know, kind of messy, but every right. stone, and every flower, our earth was created for love. We are its children, poets and heroes. The life is born and goes and will be forever. He takes on these songs that are potentially humanity changing. It's like, yeah, well, they, they, they call it, they call it in, in the sort of spiritual realms or like new age, you know, it's called agape. It's the big love, okay. you know, Love with yes. capital L, you know, so it's like including everything. So it's that seems to be a sort of a theme for that he uses a lot. Yeah. 
which is amazing. It's like he's using his artistry to bring people together and to create ideas and seed ideas that can mm -hmm. can overcome the challenges we have. It's just as humans. Uh, I love that he takes on such epic concepts. Yeah. And, and he should because if he's, if the music is like that and, he, and he's just like, I bought a new puppy today. <laughs> His name is right. Like that's, that's pretty good. Can I write down, can write I take down, that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's not trifle, right? The lyrics should match this epic voice and this epic evolution of music. So it's yeah. it feels like everything's cohesive. Yeah. Once again, he's using his massive power, uh, talent, and and influence for good. That's always yeah. a great thing. Mm-hmm. When he say, I do this often when I'm teaching. If I hear when I'm when I'm hearing somebody sing, I find my mouth moving or my th my larynx moving up and down, like kind of like emulating the feeling that's coming in. Is that sort of the same thing when an actor sort of mimics the lines that the of yes. the other actor? That's the, yeah. It's it's a, it's a, it's like a mirroring it a, it. effect. Yeah. It, it it actually allows me to physically sympathize or empathize with what the singer is going through so i've just that's just what i do so I'll, Actually, as he's I do singing, that as well yeah yeah as you see I'm, I'm, like, I'm producing yeah i can feel my yeah. going up and down I'm, like, I'm just like i feel my body like engaged with what he's doing his consistency in the tone in terms of cl the classical realm and we talked about this before when we did the what was the name of the song with the the, the four dimashes um but the the shaping of his vowels and the projection of the tone is so consistent, even in just that range that he's demonstrating so far, which is expected in the classical realm. And of course, he's executing that really well. I want to actually visit, revisit that last section because that kind of, kind of illustrates what I was talking about with the chord, the, okay. the, the melody creating chord tones. And that's kind of what naturally leads to the modulations. That Do you are want so me to smooth. back it up? or Yeah, just like, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. This is G chord. So C minor. Okay. So we, we so we, we traverse from C minor for, from that little phrase. We go from C minor and end up in C major. So I'll so kind of show you how we got there. I don't remember the melody exactly, but so the first note is da. Goes to F minor. Goes to D flat. Took some liberties with getting there, but all the like where all those phrases land end up on a chord tone. So, so it's like one of the three notes within the chord. So that's it how it feels like you're stepping into a new realm, and then we're stepping into this new realm. Yeah, so he's like mm -hmm. taking you there. Uh, with the lead melody. That's cool. Yeah. Tonal shift. Every time he does that. Mm. So pure. It's almost like two voices here. And jumping back to the lyrics, so he's setting up this. It's a little bit darker, like the, the tone and the energy mm. going on. 
Um, yeah, a little, a little rem- reminiscent of uh, the the, the um, Ch- Charlie Zhao Shen. How did, how did he say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, just, just sort of d- a d- complete d- shift of, of sounds like two singers almost. It's amazing. So it goes into, you know, you are strong, you know, be brave, you are strong. So it's like that conviction kind of going into it. And then it's Mm -hmm. go, do not stop in the middle of your path, brotherhood and liberty. This world really needs you. Go be yourself and be ourselves. You can everything, you can everything if you want it. Little, little off there. Um, Always forward, ever forward, as long as you can, you can. So it's just this encouragement, this, this. Yeah. You know, and it's on obviously, an individual level, but also culturally collective. Yeah. And obviously in the language, it's probably much more poetic, you know. And yeah. It's, but and even it's, that, even that strong. But the, the sentiment is there. I, I mean, obviously the sentiment clear. is coming yeah. through. Yeah. As a, as a songwriter, if you can work with a singer that can take a melody and sing it uh, in multiple octaves, <laughs> like, right. that's a that's a nice thing to have at your disposal. Yeah. So he's basically it, taking that melody from before and just, I mean, he just shifted it up an octave and complete tonal just change. Just continuing it. it and just, yeah, I can't, Im- yeah, can you imagine? So Igor's has this like, it's just free reign in his brain, right? So when he writes with Dimash in mind, and it's my understanding that's what he did with it, with this piece. He didn't do the lyrics. Someone else did the lyrics. But the to have Dimash in mind is just kind of like you have a piano in front of you. Like we have 88 or 90 choices. Yes. Where where should we start this yeah. song? <laughs> Generally speaking, I like to keep things within when I'm working with pretty much anybody, um, you know, mere mortals, which <laughs> – <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with being a mortal. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I love I love mortals. Some of my favorite singers are mortals. I, I like to keep it within, you know, if I can keep a melody within like an octave to maybe an octave and a half. I've sort of learned that over time that that's generally like the way to go. But yeah, with <laughs> a singer like that, it's just... it's Well, and it's probably why when you have an instrument like this, to stay within an octave and an octave and a half is almost it's i mean it's not wasteful right but at the same time it's you want to spread your wings and do things on an on a level of imagination that you just simply can't normally reason Mm -hmm. with because my is you you and i have had this conversation before our favorite singers you know kind of top out around the the two octaves maybe two and a half Mm mm-hmm Based on just what <clears throat> they do well within that range of notes, right? And I never have, yeah, never have a qualm. And with I that never and, tire of it. I listen yeah. to album after album of in the same song a thousand times, just well crafted melodies and really great deliveries within a small range. And and I'm a, and I'm a sucker for that. But how can you not explore more when you have this unique option in front of you? Yeah, it's like it's like having a McLaren and, and living in a suburban area where you have to keep it up under thirty. <laughs> exactly, thirty miles an play. hour, <laughs> and tell an amazing story. So I want to hear that lift again. So I backed it up. Here. Yeah.
more. His conviction and connection is always spot on too. Yeah, oh yeah. The speed is really cool too. It looks like a tribal feel Hell to it. Yeah. You want to be Oh, there's the E. <laughs> Amazing as always. <laughs> you know what actually might be an interesting thing is to try to find one performance where he doesn't, like he's off, like he's having an off night. <laughs> Does that even exist? He's, he's just flawless every single time. Well, like, I mean, obviously we're checking out videos that's highly recommended, uh, mm -hmm. videos that have, you know, millions of plays for a reason, right? They're like great performances. Right. We do know we're pretty confident he's human. And as as such, I'm not sure. <laughs> as such, there is going to be off days, off nights, off loss. We saw even in that one where, where we first heard that D8, it's like he missed the, the note underneath it. Like he was a little, he had moments that he does wobble that he's off, but he always makes up for it in 50 other ways where you just, you're th those little things, those little intangibles and flaws that do take place are oh, so overshadowed by how many things he does great. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. I'm referring to more of just like, the the quality of his tone always seems like it's intact. It never seems like he's tired, and and all these performances that we watch, which to go to your point, yes, they're they're all like chosen, you know, because for for a reason. But they're also within the context of of uh, an entire concert that he's pr putting on, which I can't I can't imagine like he's phoning it in on any of these songs. Every single song we've seen is like challenging in in its yeah. own way. Maybe not for him, but for everyone else, no, it's like it is this them, monumental yeah. thing. Um, and and it's just, you know, within the context of a two-hour, three-hour concert, it's like, you know, I don't know where these songs are placed in those, but it's like, it just, you'd, you'd think just on on average, on the law of average, that he would be like, oh, I'm, I'm a little tired for this one. And <laughs> Well, he's good. Yeah. I mean, obviously that's going to happen, but but how much does, does he show relative to I haven't seen everything it yet. else? <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I just feel like his technique is so good that he's just figured it out where there's such little abuse happening, like so, such little friction. He just he's figured out the most optimal way to use his voice where he can like just keep it in the best shape all the time. I mean, again, we've only seen seven, eight videos, but <laughs> so I'm sure there's other. But it just seems like, <laughs> you know, well. Let, let's take let's take a quick look, right? So this is the seven dimensions of singing. Okay, so this mm -hmm. is the, this is the technique that, um, that I developed and, and that I use. And the premise is, is that each of the dimensions tie into specific uh, grouping of muscles that you can develop and coordinate to improve your singing. So it's not style specific. So whether this is opera, rock, jazz, blues, country, doesn't matter, right? So flexibility refers to the responsiveness of the folds. Okay, meaning you can do riffs, you can you have easy access to head voice, warm up relatively quick. That's fair to say he does extremely well at flexibility as a whole, or he would be able to execute his range in, in its entirety. Breath control. So that's the muscles around the lungs. So it's underneath or woven into the rib cage and even above a little bit. So it's 
being able to use your lungs efficiently, having the right amount of air pressure under the folds at all times. Not only does he do this throughout all of the registers, but he does this while he's moving around on stage. I mean, he's not doing backflips or any like crazy choreography, but we've seen him run across the stage and stay right on key and hold these long phrases. Intonation. This is a fancy word for pitch. Your ability to go from one note to another really, really well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so his, uh. his control there is outstanding. Vocal range. If I... This went beyond the R. I would keep going because it's not just how low and how high. It's your ability to move between registers. And we've yeah. seen him do that, you know, over say, and that, over again. Is that spider web big enough? I don't know. <laughs> Vocal fry, chest voice, head voice, falsetto, and whistle. All five registers. Tone isn't just do you like someone's tone. It's your ability to tell a story. Your ability to manipulate the shape of the sound in all of your registers throughout your range. Yeah. Articulation. This is your lips, tongue, and jaw muscles being able to pronounce the words as you intended. In, because, every in any language you want. <laughs> in any language you want. Kind of max yeah. out. Strength. This is going to what you were just talking about when I was leading up to with this web graph is your ability. Uh, strength isn't just like how much air pressure can you deal with it's stability can you maintain the folds at the frequencies that you want through multiple uh, uh, amounts or degrees of air pressure at different volumes and for long periods of time so it's your stamina and stability of the muscles inside the larynx your intrinsic muscles uh, I'm missing a dimension. I'm just realizing this now. I've built my entire career on seven dimensions. There's actually eight, and it's called the Dimash. <laughs> <laughs> this is, whether you like someone's voice or not, on a skill level, which is what we're talking about, he's firing at all seven dimensions, just maxed out on a consistent level, which is just... that. It's unheard of, and 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 that's why he gets all the the credit he does for uh, on a skill level. Whether you like his music or not, whether you like his tone, whether you appreciate his storytelling is irrelevant. On a skill level, that is maxed out. It it's just astounding. Yeah. It, and, and by the way, my favorite singers we were talking about earlier are more, you know, maybe something. Like yeah, right. this, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it, you don't have to be an incredible artist. Sorry. You don't have to have an incredible skill set to still captivate, set, yeah. you know, an audience and to tell a story and everything else. So, right. So, you know, you but don't God, need all of that. To these people. <laughs> it's so fun. Jeez. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Whew. I mean, if, if, if Dimash didn't exist, I could still, you know, I would still be a happy person. <laughs> but I'm so thankful that he does. Yes. So on that note, thank you once again for joining us. We will be back for more Dimash in the near future. We got lots of other artists we are tackling first, but stay tuned. We will always circle back. So thank you for your patience. Always. Yes. Awesome. All right, Johnny, we'll, you have a good we'll day. We'll have time to figure out some more adjectives to describe him because I feel like I'm running out of... We, just... we should probably learn another language just to <laughs> express <laughs> some new... Some new, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, eventually it's just going to be us being like... <laughs> just whole just showing the piano, low, high, low, high. <laughs> just, there's just nothing to say. It just transcend words. All right. All righty. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everyone.